while I was moving myself about during my time staying near a University of Illinois that has a policy on diversity, I was actually constantly hazed and harassed. Someone was constantly putting their hands in my marvelous pockets, and someone was constantly cutting my clothing. They also resized my shirts, resized my shorts recently, to the point that they, it actually hurts to wear a pair of swim trunks that I purchased at a fairly expensive, posh, kind of, well, athletic store. In truth, it's not abuse. It is abuse. That's what someone might say to themselves. It is abuse. They're not my family. I don't know who they are at all. And openly, they've been doing it to squelch something that they think they have a right to call about. They don't. The other bits of vandalism that I've experienced is that I have this plentiful, very long bungee cord that I purchased at a store. And it might have actually been donated to my company or my family. But the truth is what they've been doing is been fraying and cutting the edges of it so that at some point it will break. I never had that problem because the tension on it isn't enough to cause that to occur. And if it did occur, where do you think those frays would be? They'd be right there, you see. In life, we have moments of time to talk about the truth, and we have people with such vanity, such violence in them, that they commit vandalism and they commit violent acts. We know that from the January 6th situation, where men who were of allegedly a military background just lost it on the White House. And yet we have people in our communities that play these games as if they're in charge of someone else. We know the names of several of them that are likely suspects. The problem is we may have the videos of the people doing all those acts, but where does the man provide that video information? If he provides it to a police officer, he gets pissed on because they don't want to know that. They want their community not to have those acts embarrassing their city with their ordinance on diversity and freedom of life.